Come have a seat in the Scald Circle and hear the tale of the stolen farthings as told by Casimir. Before we begin our tale, did you know we release new stories for free every week on Wednesdays? Be certain to subscribe to us on Apple Podcasts, Google Play Music, Spotify, Podbean, or whatever your favorite podcast app is. That way, you'll never miss out when we release free bonus stories other days of the week. Never forget, visit thescaldcircle.com to stay up to date with all of our current happenings. And to also visit our story archive, sorted by origin and region. Now then, this begins the tale of the stolen farthings. Once a father was seated at the dinner table with his wife and children. A good friend who had come to visit was eating with them. While they were sitting there, the clock struck twelve, and the stranger saw the door open, and a very pale little child dressed in snow-white clothes came in. It neither looked around nor did it speak, but it went straight into the next room. Soon afterwards it came back, and just as silently went out the door again. On the second and third day, it came back in exactly the same manner. Then the stranger finally asked the father whose beautiful child it was that went into the next room every day at noon. I did not see it, he said, adding that he did know whose child it might be. The next day, when it came again, the stranger pointed it out to the father, and the latter did not see it, nor did the mother and the children see anything. Then the stranger got up, went to the door of the room, opened it a little, and looked in. There he saw the child sitting on the floor and busily digging and rooting about in the cracks in the floor. When it saw the stranger, it disappeared. He now told what he had seen and described the child exactly. Then the mother recognized it and said, Oh, it is my dear child who died four weeks ago. They ripped up the floor and found two farthings which the father had once received from its mother to give to a poor man. It, however, had thought, with that money you can buy yourself a piece of Zweibach, and had kept the farthings and hidden them in the cracks in the floor. Therefore, it had had no rest in its grave, and had come every day at noon to look for these farthings. Then the parents gave the money to a poor man, and after that the child was never seen again. And that is the tale of the stolen farthings. Thank you for listening to our story. If you enjoyed it, please take a look at our Patreon page to learn how you can earn great rewards while also supporting us. We appreciate even the smallest of contributions, as they allow us to continue to release new stories every week for free on Wednesdays. And also provide bonus stories for your listening pleasure. Visit us at thescaldcircle.com to view our story archive, sorted by origin and region and to stay up to date with all of our current developments. Once again, thank you for listening to our story.